Welcome back to the Hockey Shop, Source for Sports. Last week we rolled out the Bauer Hyperlite. Hyperlite 2. Also incorrectly named Hyperlite because they put the 2 in the middle. But It's still Hyperlite 2, no? It's Hyperlite. It's Hyperlite 2. So, as excited as we were, and you all may remember I got a little giddy when we were talking about the Hyperlite 2, I may be even more excited for the second price point. We have had Bauer second price point products out with testers playing major midget, major bantam, all kinds of different levels. And the durability, the performance of these pads is exceptional, especially when you consider the price. And it looks on the surface like they've continued that with the new line, the X5 Pro. This is the derivative of the Hyperlite 2. So Cam, let's get into it. Um, we'll go through the features that are the same as the Hyperlite 2. Obviously, at a lower price point, you're getting a little less. We'll walk you through some of the parts you don't get, what you do get, what makes it great, what you're sacrificing. Cam, let's start with the pads. Well, I mean, main focus of the pads being first is, uh, like, first of all, the look and the actual profile of the pad itself. So we're still getting that same slim down profile that we saw in the Hyperlite 2, continuing off of that 3X pad as in terms of those upgrades. Um, this is just visually a really nice looking pad. Like it's just, it looks like that pro pad dropped down, which is why they kept that pro nomenclature actually in the pad itself. Okay, so looks are great, but I'm about performance. I am a function, not fashion guy. And so the first thing that jumps out to me, and this isn't the first time they've done this, but they've continued the Stabila Flex knee into the second price point. You, it's not like you just get this feature at the highest price point. And I think that's a significant call out. Correct. And also one thing that those eagle-eyed viewers might have missed in our actual Hyperlite 2 review is that we didn't talk about the new grip knee that's also been brought down to the... Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of a tackiness to the field to help you sort of not slide off the block. That's correct. Especially with those bigger knee pads nowadays and the integration of those socks, this will help to kind of aid you, keep you planted inside of that, uh, that knee cradle. So definitely a great feature. Um, that's also brought down into that X5 Pro. Okay, so we, opening we, up the leg channel. Leg channel, like same in there, you still got the Tune Fit 2.0, but you can change this out to the Tune Fit Plus if you would like um, easy optional switch, um, something that is available aftermarket. Uh, we showed you that obviously in the Hyperlite 2 video, so that's make great. sure you check that out for more details on how to do it. It's pretty easy. Good. So what's not the same, uh, it doesn't have the integrated, the cap plate is not integrated into the face of the pad like nope. the Hyperlite 2, but still, I mean, it's still a nice, stable feel. That's correct. The biggest thing you don't get is you don't get Cortec on the face of the pad. Like That's this correct. is built more like a traditional stitch and or sew and stitch type pad in terms of the face built around the core. So that's one of the biggest. That's correct. So you won't get as hot of a rebound off. That said though, these are still gonna kick rebounds out uh, decently far for what would be a mid-level pad. Well, and also you do get, is this the same material on the knee? Help me out here, Cam. It is. So that's, again, that's what we talk about, the sliding that Bauer has been known for for multiple generations of pads. That continues down on this lower price point. The other thing that I noticed, like you talked about how thin it was, I actually think there's a little, as much as we're not supposed to flex it this way, there is more flex profile in this pad. I feel like, like at a beer league level, um, I know this pad is more than durable enough for that level of play, but I feel like goalies that want an even, as much as Hyperlite is their softer line, I feel like the X5 Pro might be an even softer pad. So, so wait, 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 let's, let's maybe call out something because you said beer league, right? You're like, okay, maybe your beer league colors don't necessarily line up with what you've got going on uh, in terms of for the stock available options. Um, so what you have the option for is to order custom with these pads. So I can get custom colors, your name on the pad as well. Definitely a major call out for this. You can talk to me more about this personally, 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. But again, custom colors. Custom colors and your name on a available. second price point pad. That's correct. Wow, okay. Uh, we've talked about performance. You're hung up on the looks. Let's talk about glove and blocker. Yes. Um, first thing I notice on the glove is you know that nice material inside, that, that tacky material on the fingers. Correct. Not here in the second price point model. Not here. Not here. Not here but you still get that great overall closure and feel wise. Yeah, a little thicker feeling, yep. maybe a little bit, a little more. So a bit of a beef up in terms of the, the padding and they also worked on the center rib closure as well in, from the 3X. Um, so that's one of the upgrades moving into that M5. Um, it's a nice closing up. I would say like, so why would it be thicker? Why would it be beefier, you ask? Because of course it doesn't have their new version of the pour on material. No DTC padding in there. 
Right. So they need to put more sort of traditional padding in there, which is why it feels a little thicker in the hand, but you're still Correct. getting protected just in a different manner. Correct. So tight fitting palm, uh, overall feel wise, uh, again, very, very similar to what you would see in the, uh, the actual pro uh, blocker as well. Um, great overall profile, good overall punch, definitely something to check out. Okay. And the last part, once we have something like the new X5 Pro in stock, that means old gears on sale. That's correct. So make sure you check them out at thehockeyshop.com. If you've got any questions about this line, how to customize it, of course, the Hyperlite 2 line, or what's on sale behind me, some of it 20% off as the new stuff comes in, make sure you check out thehockeyshop.com or give him a call. 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Low your roll. It's up there. Maybe down below. Who knows? Like and subscribe.